Today I'm making a brief video on how to connect your Stringify app with your SmartThings devices. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. Okay, so here is Stringify, and uh, what is Stringify? Stringify is an app that works with smart things. It also works with many other smart devices that may not be compatible with smart things. So it's a way to string together all your different smart devices into one app where you can create what they call flows. And with these flows, then you can create uh, a number of routines. It's a really neat app. I've been using it for quite some time now, and I like it real well. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. Okay, and today we're just going to focus on how do you get this paired up with your SmartThings devices. First thing you want to do is look down here at Things, and you want to click on Things. When you do that, uh, you want to look at this plus sign up here. Now, since I've already been using this, I have a number of things connected. Um, this wrap here allows you to connect several flows together so if you have a very elaborate routine you can actually chain them chain flows together um, this is for to send notifications here you see my home hub it's already connected here you see my dome siren uh, so there's there's many things that you can add to this you can even add uh, things like weather apps uh, that will give you a morning briefing of weather. So uh, it's almost limitless, the things you can do with it. Right now we're going to click on this plus sign because I want to be able to add um, smart things. And I'll show you, take you through the process here. Now I'm going to scroll down through here. This is listed alphabetically. And as you can see, there is tons of things on here that you can utilize. Uh, like I mentioned, news and Xfinity and Twitter. So you can uh, use a lot of these things. What we're interested in is the smart things. You'll see this check mark here because I've already added it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and click on this to show you how to set it up. So it says, uh, yours will probably say connect. Mine says connect another because I've already have it connected. So we're going to click on connect another. All right, so first thing you're going to need to know is your sign-in for either Samsung, your Samsung uh, account or sign-in with your SmartThings account. Uh, if you've converted over to uh, the new SmartThings account, you'll be signing in with your Samsung account. If you're still on the, the older version of SmartThings, you'll use the SmartThings account. So I'm going to hit sign in with the Samsung account because mine has been updated. Uh, the first thing you'll need is to populate your email address in here, and then you'll simply type in your password. I'm signing in. All right, now the next screen you'll see is a screen that allows you to authorize Stringify to access your SmartThings devices. Uh, so what you want to do is go down to where it says here, select one, and you're basically, this is where you select your hub. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll see down at the bottom where it says Bud's Home. That's my hub. So I'm going to click on that and hit Done. Now, since I've already have this set up, uh, it lists all the things that I gave permission for smart things to access. There you see my dome siren. Um, down at the bottom here, my garage door opener. Uh, so you need to go through this list. Some of these, uh, as you can see, are uh, vibration sensors. So if you want to use um, your, uh, uh, your door sensors as vibration sensors, you can check those. Uh, the various motion sensors, uh, the various phones that you have, uh, all the lights that you have, all the switches that you have. So once you're comfortable with the things that you want to use in flows, then you just basically click authorize. And once you do that, it's going to load another screen that's basically going to tell you if some of the devices are not supported. In my situation, all my devices are supported. So, and there you can see the details of those. Uh, 
and then it's just a matter of clicking done up here so the setup is fairly straightforward it's really easy I'm gonna X out of that and then you'll see all your devices showing up under things and uh, then you can use those things uh, to create these flows I'm gonna be doing additional um, videos that will show you just how to do flows uh, as a matter of fact uh, there are several coming up soon that uh, show how I use flows to manage my garage door so you'll want to check those out hey thanks for watching today I appreciate it uh, if you don't want to miss upcoming videos on how to use stringify with smart things you want to be sure to subscribe and when you subscribe you want to hit that notification bell that will ensure that you'll get notice whenever new content becomes available so you won't miss anything uh, if this video was helpful to you please give me a thumbs up and again I appreciate you watching today and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.